Hi, my name is Theodora, and we're going to be talking about open with today and um, all the cool new things that you can be doing with it. And today we're going to be looking at triggering a cloud int change that parses a JSON object with JavaScript that will then post that to Slack. And first we're going to be starting off with cloud int. And right here you see that I have cloud int um, service um, provision and we're going to launch it. Right now we're going to create a new database. And as you can see, it doesn't allow uh, uppercase letters, so I'm going to try a different name. So now I'm going to create a demo database and put a new document into it. And as you can see here, I put a JSON object that I'll include in a code snippet. And um, you can see it being added in all documents. And right now we're looking at the all permissions. You have to make sure that you have the read write permissions on your database in order to be able to um, integrate it with OpenWIST. You can also generate an API key as we see here. And right here you can see the OpenWIST documentation going over triggers, actions, rules, and right now we're going to be using OpenWISC in the browser. You can also use the CLI if you so desire. Um, so right now we're going to be creating an action. And um, for this example, we're going to be using a JavaScript one and we're going to start off with a sample. So I added some JavaScript here and note the text property that we're returning. That's important for the Slack integration. And so we're going to test this action with the JSON object that I've included and you can see here that it ran successfully. And you can go into the dashboard and see that um, it worked. And so we're going to link this into a sequence so that it posts to Slack. Um, so if you go into your Slack team, um, I'm actually even posting into my general channel. And the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the incoming webhook integration. So once you get that, um, you can edit the configurations and go into the setup instructions and see the webhook URL. This is really important for setting up the Slack integration. And see here again the text property that I mentioned before. Now we're going to create a sequence using the Slack integration with the JavaScript action we just created. And um, so I'm putting in the name now. Adding in the username that I want to show up, the channel I'm post to, general, posting in the webhook URL. Unfortunately, it's telling me I already used this name before, so I'm going to try a different name right now. Alright, so I'm going to select the binding that I just created. Make sure your JavaScript action goes before your Slack. I'm going to create a sequence name. And I'm going to run it. So it's really important to test at every step. I posted in the JSON object I had and it returned that and now you can see that it posted a Slack successfully and you can see in our dashboard that it posted successfully as well and you can see the logs here. Alright from that sequence we're going to be creating a rule in which we use the clouded trigger. I'm going to name it, I'm going to link it with my client service that I showed you from before. Now we'll be creating a client trigger that's following the database change feed. Make sure you have the order right, the client trigger to the action to the posting to Slack. Um, you'll need to name your rule, um, don't forget to enable it. You can always do this by also clicking on that check mark um, right here. 
um, test with the JSON object and it completed successfully. Okay, so it looks like it's working. So to really test if this is working, I'm going to change this document and this should trigger a document change um, trigger and you'll see it in this changes tab I'm showing you here right now and it posted a slack so it works so right now you have and you can see it posted successfully in the activity log here and this includes new documents in your client database as well and as soon as those go in it goes through your JavaScript action and then it will post the slack um, whatever you desire and there's just a number of business use cases for this and um, I would say it was pretty easy to learn I got it in about less than a day and so I really encourage you to really just play around with open wish just learning a little bit um, it's really fun it allows you to do a lot of really cool things really quickly and so let me know if you have any questions any feedback um, I'd be happy to hear from you.